Hey everyone, it's Dustin, CEO of DP Alternative Energy Designs, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to green energy technologies. We have been fortunate to have our project re-entered into the Pepsi Refresh Project Challenge in competition for grant opportunity. Our electric vehicle project with an onboard generator featuring capacitors with no batteries and a renewable fuel source to power an onboard generator is leading edge and world changing technology. When you vote for our project, you not only vote for super green, efficient, clean energy technologies, but you're also letting your voice be heard to those in power who control the energy infrastructure to say that we are no longer going to tolerate this financial and political enslavement that is fully based on the energy infrastructure. By creating self-sustaining energy devices, we free ourselves and our financial well-being and the quality of our lives from control from outside sources that don't have our best interests in mind. So by voting for our project, you not only help support these type of green technologies, but you also free up other funds, trillions upon trillions of dollars that are being outsourced in the interest of protecting petroleum-based interest overseas and domestically. Money that is normally spent on military operations overseas can now be redirected towards our health care, towards improvement in education and medical research. Topics that some other competitors in the Pepsi Refresh competition are trying to get funds for. Our project is a solution for all of those suggestions, not just one small niche. So by voting for our project, you're voting for the betterment of all mankind in every possible area by freeing up these trillions and trillions of dollars that are needlessly spent in defense of petroleum-based interests. And the big corporations are starting to take notice. Corporations like GM coming out with the Volt, which is kind of, sort of, it's almost there, but not quite because they're still using that internal combustion engine as a primary motive of motion. That engine needs to be removed from the drivetrain and delegated only for charging. They still haven't made that leap yet, just as a Toyota and the Prius hasn't made that leap yet. And you also have the Razor project, which is very similar to our project, an electric vehicle with an onboard generator. You also have the Jaguar, the CX-75, which is an electric vehicle with an onboard turbine-powered charging station. Similar to Neil Young's Link Volt. All these technologies are almost there, but not quite. They're still using batteries, they're still using petroleum-based fuels. We here at DP Alternative Energy Designs believe that our proposal contains all the technologies and assembled in the right order to maximize the efficiency of all of the separate components put together. By using carbon neutral clean fuels, we believe that we have exceeded the competition. I came up with this idea approximately six years ago, and since then, people have been listening. And now the general public is starting to catch on. Electric vehicles with onboard recharging stations is the way of the future. When you look at the H2 EV Air project, you are looking at the car of the future. So get out there, go to refresheverything.com forward slash H2 EV Air 2. So get out there and vote, and thanks for your support.